स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू सॉल्व द गिवन कंडीशन अ रूम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सिलेंडर सरमाउंटेड बाय हेमिस्फेरिकल डोम सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ सिलेंडर बिकॉज द शेप ऑफ द रूम इज लाइक दैट रूम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सिलेंडर सरमाउंटेड बाय अ हेमिस्फेरिकल डोम दैट मीन्स अ हेमिस्फेरिकल डोम इज जस्ट अबव द सिलेंड्रिकल पार्ट the base radius of hemisphere this is the base radius of the hemisphere is 1/2 of the height of a cylindrical part 1/2 of the cylinder so if i consider height of the cylinder as uh, h as h then the radius is half of the height similarly this is also uh, h by 2 okay. now what we have to do we have to find the total height of the room if it contains 1408 by 21 meter cube of air that means complete volume of this uh, room is uh, given to us which is the combination of hemisphere and cylinder so we will be writing volume of hemisphere plus volume of cylinder and we will equate this with 1408 upon 21 volume of hemisphere is uh, 2 by 3 pi r cube volume of cylinder is pi r square h so here uh, so radius of the base of the hemisphere is uh, h by 2 so let's uh, substitute r by h by 2 so this will be h cube and cube of 2 is 8 plus pi and here r is again h by 2 so it is h square by 4 and this h is equal to 1408 by 21 now things which we can take out common this can be cancelled so we can take out pi h cube from this place and pi h cube from this place because h square into h is h cube so if i take out pi h cube i am left with 1 upon 12 3 4 12 plus 1 upon 4 Is equal to one four zero eight upon twenty one. Now let's simplify it. LCM is twelve one plus three. This is one four zero eight upon twenty one, and pi h cube four upon twelve. This is one four zero eight upon twenty one. Four threes are twelve. Now three can be shifted on the right hand side. So let's uh, substitute the value of pi in the question. It is given to be uh, taken as 22 by 7. So if I write 22 by 7 here, and h cube here, and 1 upon 3 here, now we will shift everything on the right hand side so that we are left with the unknown at one side. So h cube is equal to 1408 by 21 into 7 into 3 upon 22. So three times the twenty-one and twenty-one gets cancelled. Now here also we can uh, cancel the common factors like uh, two elevens twenty-two, two sevens are fourteen, two zero zero, two four is eight, and uh, further it can be cancelled. Eleven ones are eleven, eleven six is sixty-six, four is the remainder. Four and four makes it forty-four. Eleven fours are forty-four. So h cube is sixty-four, and the cube root of sixty-four is four. So the value of h and h is height of the uh, cylinder is 4 uh, 4 meter in meters answer is in meter find the total height of the room and here h that we have obtained is the height of only the cylindrical portion but we are asked to find height of the room so total height of the room will be this h portion that is the uh, height of the cylindrical part this height of the cylindrical part but we also have a hemispherical dome above it right so this is nothing but the radius so we have to add radius also to it so this h plus r and r is again in terms of h is h by 2 so h we have already calculated and from here value of r is h by 2 which is 2 meter the total height of the room would be h plus the hemispherical dome shaped surmounted piece radius so h plus r 
so h plus h by 2 and h is 4 and h by 2 is 2 so 6 meter is the total height of the room this is how this problem is to be solved i hope the problem is clear to everyone don't stop your uh, problem only uh, after getting the height you also have you also have to add this remaining portion remaining height also to the cylindrical height to get the total height of the room thank you